yes, yes, yes. It's a great day and only getting better. Once again, this is JP3 from Philly representing that way, that truth, that life. Welcome back. First of all, I want to apologize for keeping you all waiting. As the old saints used to say, Shaylin and I had to tarry, meaning we had to actually live the message that we're telling you today. This month, we just had some hurdles, some scheduling conflicts, so we weren't able to get this message out to you as quickly as we had planned. And so ideally, while we would like to crank these out every week for you guys, moving forward, we're gonna have to adjust our timeline and just trust that the spirit is emphasizing quality over quantity. But for all the trouble, all the process, all the warfare, and this month it's been plenty. It reminds me why we as a ministry do all of this and why I'm grinding as hard as I am to share this series with you. And honestly, because I know what it is to live a life that didn't amount to much, to try and do things my way with my faulty thinking, to come up with my own solutions to life and fail. I know exactly what it is to waste away my talent, seeking after the allure of the success that I envied of my peers, only to end up giving up on myself, quitting, throwing everything in neutral, and I'm here to tell you, you can't afford it. So this ain't just an intellectual exercise. I'm not here to rehearse doctrine like I need to hear myself validate my beliefs. Jesus already did that on Resurrection Sunday. No, we have learned some things about God, about life, about truth, things that you must commit to your soul if you wanna build a life worth living. And right now we're dealing with the basics, starting at the foundation. What do you need that will make your life matter in the end? What are the things that bring your life value and meaning after the world has chewed you up and spit you out? And we're thinking through this thing rationally and practically in terms of how to build it out so it lasts, so it has staying power. So we established God's word as the first part of the foundation for life. That was the previous series if you've been following along. Now we continue by looking at God's spirit as the second part. Yes, it might sound strange. Yes, it might sound corny, it's not sexy. Yes, it's warfare. Yes, there will be times when you struggle to live by God's design. But if you're going to do life, you might as well do it right. And here's why the spirit matters so much. Spirit, you might say, adds life and balance to the word or truth that you know in your head. Life meaning you have power to live out the truth by living in the word. I just dropped the nugget on you. I don't know if you caught it. Living out the truth by living in the word. I've known the scriptures just about all my life since I was a young boy. But I did not know how to love some people, including myself, until I started walking in the spirit. I did not know how to say no to some people, including myself, until I started walking in the spirit. I did not know how to establish healthy personal boundaries until I started walking in the spirit. I wasn't healthy enough for marriage until I, you see where this is going? Life, balance, power, all of a sudden because of the spirit. Now you might think that that's minor, but I needed a lot of help. I was what my pastor used to call top heavy. I had so much head knowledge, I'm practically tipping over. I need God to prop me up just to stay balanced. And listen, sometimes you just need a friend like that. Whenever you attempt anything great, anything worthwhile, you're going to need help. I don't know what your specific situation is, but have you ever attempted to start a business, to graduate from high school, to host a fundraiser for charity, to put your children to bed at night? I don't know, but you set, the, you set out to achieve a dream, something great and you realize the enormous amount of cooperation and support you need to make that thing happen. And if certain things don't line up just right, Ray Lewis doesn't put his team on his back on his way to a second Super Bowl. If Michael Vick doesn't defer to the number two guy, you might have never heard of Joe Flacco or Nick Foles. How much more then do we need an advocate, a guide, a teacher, a regenerator, an enabler, a leader, a sanctifier, a strengthener, a supplier, a reminder, a giver, a creator. When you're trying to build a life worth living, which is why we shouldn't treat the Holy Spirit casually. As a matter of fact, the scripture says that God does not even claim us as his own if we do not have his spirit in us. These might sound like hard words, but understand this. The point is that the Holy Spirit is necessary. The point is that we can know him. The point is that if we are led by the spirit, then we are God's children. So the Holy Spirit then is a fundamental necessity for truly successful living. We are not to make light of the Spirit. Rather, His light makes us. Rather, His light makes us. So what are we going to do to make sure we have Him? We're going to ask. I ain't talked to God in a long time. We're going to ask. But shouldn't I do a couple good deeds first to make sure I'm on God's good side? No. We're going to take God at His word 
bank on his generosity, and with childlike faith and humility, ask. And watch the door swing wide open. <laughs> Speaking of generosity, before we take off, we have a very exciting announcement for you. After much labor and prayer, our generosity page is finally up and running. Somebody give God praise. We're gonna put it up on the screen now so you can see it, but you have no idea how excited we are about this opportunity. This is the part of our website where we share our resources with you, including an opportunity for you to request financial support. That's right, beloved. We have not one, but two charitable micro grants that we are giving away. Prayerfully, we will award two new grants every month moving forward. We're not just talking about it, we are being about it. Resources are limited, so don't just sit there. Visit the website today and be blessed. And if you know someone else in need, be generous. It's as simple as forwarding that link. And just like that, you've been a blessing. Yes, sir. Wow, how about that? Well, once again, this is JP3 wishing you grace and peace. On behalf of my wife and our team, thank you for checking out our website, our blogs, and our videos. Most important, please pray for us. As you can see, we are about some big changes. In the meantime, keep subscribing, keep liking, keep sharing. We'll see you next time for more of your Better Days Ahead. Shalom.